So on the list, we did the do's and don'ts of thrift shopping. Now here are the do's and don'ts of flipping your thrift. That's buying low and then selling at a profit and start with the tools. I'm not talking about power tools, okay? These have a lot more moving parts, a lot more can go wrong. But when you're talking about hand tools, okay? These are things you can buy, resell on eBay, particularly certain brand names. What you want to look for are the brand names such as Stanley, Craftsman, Cobalt, and some others that have lifetime warranties. People love those lifetime warranties. They're indestructible, and if they do go wrong, they can return them or exchange them for a new one. So what you want to look for are those certain brand names. So do get the hand tools, don't get the power tools. That's something you could flip. Do get the artwork, and here's the deal. You're looking at it for the frames. Doesn't matter if you like that image, you're looking for solid metal or wood frames, particularly the more unique ones that they're not gonna be able to find at Michael's or somewhere else new. So something like this, but don't get the plastic ones. A lot of these, they'll look like wood, they'll look like metal, but they're actually plastic. So. Ignore the art, look at the frames, do get the solid metal, do get the solid wood. You can flip those on Ebay's and it turn a tidy profit. Now, let's take a look over here. I stash these from the book section. Books are a great resale item. Here's the thing about the books though, there's a lot to look through. What you're especially looking for are textbooks. Here you got some calculus, you got some bio, you got some comparative politics. Students need to buy these books and they're looking to buy them used. So they're gonna be doing the Google searches and they're gonna be looking for these used textbooks. What you want to do is you want to load up an app called Book Scouter. Book Scouter allows you to scan a barcode or enter the number, that specific ISDN number I think they call it, where you can actually look up the book and it'll tell you what the resale value of the book is right there in the store. So load that up before you go. So recapping, you want to get the brand name hand tools, not power tools, the brand names that offer lifetime warranties. Some of those include, but are not limited to, Cobalt, uh, Stanley, and Craftsman. You want to look at the frames. Ignore the art in the frames. You want to look for the frames that are not plastic imitations, but that are solid wood or solid metal. And you also want to look for books. The ones that have particularly high resale value are going to be the textbooks. Get Book Scouter. It's a very, very handy and highly rated app. It'll give you that resale price right there in the store. Happy thrifting. And remember, don't just thrift for yourself. That's always cool. It's always cool, especially when you buy on those half off days. Like this store here, this upcoming Saturday, everything in the store half off. So, and you know you can get coupons for thrifting too? Check out the Goodwill site. They actually have coupons that you could stack on top of the 50% savings. So buy for yourself. It's just a good way to go, but also flip your thrift. For the latest trends, deals, and life hacks, go to thelisttv.com.